So when we look at that mid-range power drill driver, which manufacturer here truly has the highest power drill in this category? To do this, we're gonna be using the dyno and we're gonna see what the output is compared to other drills. And we'll see if they can even hold up from the testing. Testing each of these with all available batteries to really see which one comes out on top. So seeing that we have so many drills here, I'm gonna break this down into two parts. So in this first part here, we're gonna go ahead and focus on Bauer, Cat, Cobalt, Skill, Hart, and Craftsman. So we'll start off here with the Bauer. Now we've already done tests for the 1.5, 3, and 5 amp power. Run it here with the 8, see if we can get any better performance. Like normal with each battery, I do three pulls each to get an average. Let's see what we get. Here I tested it with the 8 amp power. Now this is a little strange. Now it did come in under that 5 amp power here. I went ahead and retested the 5 amp power and I actually was getting around 487. And the same can be said for the 3 amp power that came in at about 390-ish. So honestly here, I don't know if something was wrong with the original testing or for some reason this drill has weakened a little bit. But I did check the dyno against a couple of the Waltz and the Cobalt, and that data was the same as previously tested. So just a little bit odd here, and also with the torque, which of course plays a role in that wattage. So with that low of torque, yeah, you're gonna see a lower number watts wise. So power wise here with the cobalt now this is the newer generation i did test this alongside the older generation in a previous video i'll leave a link below i did retest some of this and again what's interesting is how that regular four amp hour is stronger than the four amp hour ultimate output here but keep in mind the regular four amp hour is running 10 18650s with the four amp hour ultimate output using five 21700s. Same thing when we look at that torque. Other than that, pretty much what you would expect. DX12, uh, pretty much the same as the DX11. The only difference is the DX12 is a hammer drill. And I did test the DX12 versus the DX13 in a previous video, but across the board, pretty straightforward here. As we go up in amp hours, we go up in watts. Same thing for the most part here when it comes to torque, but torque seems to level off once you get above that four amp hour. Skill, about what you would expect. Now this is a smaller, more so maybe compact category drill. Torque, for the most part, pretty even uh, across the board, no matter if you're running the two amp hour or that five amp hour.
Now the heart definitely, uh, when you go up in the amp hours, you go up in watts. And the same thing here with the torque. Craftsman. And then that torque for the Craftsman. Now when we do compare the drills across the board uh, with their kit batteries, watts wise, at the upper end, we have the Cobalt, Cat, and Heart. Same thing here when we use the higher amp hour batteries, we see the same results. A little bit different max torque wise with kit battery. Cobalt and CAT are both up there, one and two again, but the heart falls to fourth place. But when we use the best battery available, the heart comes back up to third place. I also took a reading here of the DB, and what's interesting is the cat and the cobalt are the quietest here, while the heart is at the upper end. So when we do look at that skill, yes, bottom end performance wise. Now I do believe they did recently release a new model of this, so we'll have to test that in the future. And maybe we bring this back out and compare it to those compact or subcompact drills. Craftsman, kind of that normal size here, half inch metal chuck. Bauer, again, I can't really explain why uh, now we have less torque than we did previously. Of course, that results in less watts as well. Maybe I need to pick another one of these up and also some newer batteries. I know. Some of you have experienced problems with these batteries, so it could be one or the other there. Heart, one thing to note, after a few cycles on the dyno, it went into like this overheat limp mode where I had to let it sit for roughly five minutes, come back, put the battery back in, and then it worked. Definitely something to keep in mind. But if you're using this for DIY, overall, not a real big deal. Caterpillar seems to be decent quality, but the price is quite high and the line is a little bit limited. So with part one of testing, the Cobalt here uh, right at the top also comes with the handle. Definitely quite compact lengthwise. And overall, when you look at performance to cost, definitely right now it looks to be the best value. Now I do have these tables containing all of the specs with all of the drills I've actually tested here. I'm gonna briefly go through this, so if you wanna take a closer look at this data, I recommend pausing on each of the tables. So in these tables, this is kind of a overview of the data from testing all the other drills.
So hopefully you found this video useful. There's part one. So on part two, we'll get the majors in there and see how they compare and see if any come in above the cobalt. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.